One thing that I've read about um, Big Brother's been good for you has, is your record sales have gone up by yeah. like, huge amounts. Is that true? Yeah, no, I mean, my friend, wrote, when I came out of the house, my friend said to me, oh, he was online looking at, like, um, albums and stuff. And he said, my album went straight up. And I was like, wow. Well, obviously, it's done me a bit of justice. <laughs> but um, to tell you the truth, you know, I mean, that's a blessing. Mm. Um, you know, I didn't really go in there to kind of look for, you know, record sales to go up. I didn't go in there to look for friends. I didn't go in there to, for anything. I, I purely went in there for the experience. And I've gained a lot since coming out, you know. What's the future for you in terms of the Big Brother contestants? Are you, gonna, are you planning to see see the guys soon? Have you got any particularly really good friends out of the experience? Yeah, I mean, to tell you the truth, Ulrika and Tina are kind of like, it's probably like my first people in the public eye that I actually talked to. Wow. But then you've had like George Michael, yeah. Amy Winehouse on your, on yeah, your album. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've known Amy for, for, for years now anyway. Um, but George Michael, you know, he he's uh, he's an amazing guy. I got to know him really well. Um, but hopefully, if, um, when I decide to make another album, I'm going to ask him if he can um, do some stuff with me. Cool. So, wow. you know, I asked him this already and he said yes. But it's just the fact of going into the studio now, having to get up and record. And would you like to record with Amy again? Because the track that you did together, I thought, was sick. The Thank Big Boy Baby was a really good track. Um, yeah, I would, I would. But obviously, I know Amy's, Amy's got a lot of things she needs to kind of sort out within herself. Have you offered her any advice during her troubles? Um, no, to say the truth, um, I like to stay back from everything people do in their you know, personal lives. Um, I don't think I'd be one to be able to tell her what's wrong, what's wrong, you know, because obviously I've got my own troubles. <laughs> but um, to tell you the truth, I just hope she you know, gets better and puts herself together because she's an amazing singer, an amazing artist. And I think, you know, um, we're just waiting for her to kind of get back up there and start giving us back, you know, what, what she was great at. And so when, when are you kind of come back with your own music? Because it's yeah. been, what, two years since your last album, a year and a half? To tell you the truth, I'm, I'm so more, I'm more interested about producing and, <laughs> and writing than anything else. I, that's kind of what I wanted to do anyway in the first place before I released the album. Um, I want to do a bit more behind the scenes stuff. Um, I think making money is at the right end. It's on the right part anyway. But I, yeah, I'm gonna take a little while for just producing and writing for people. And then maybe, maybe, um, you know, put something together for myself. I'm still doing under, underground, you know, music with um, a lot of the artists in the UK anyway. How did you link up with Ashley on the new single? Well, how I linked up with Ashley was, um, I got on MySpace from, um, I think Ashley is one of Ashley's workers. And he might have me saying about Ashley wants to do a track with me. And I kind of thought, mm, is it funny? Is someone trying to be funny about it? But anyway, I met, up with, I met up with Ashley. I went to the studio. And by then, they already had sent me the track. So I kind of knew what the music was going to be about. But obviously, I had to go down there and write my bits and whatever. So I went down there and met Ashley. Ashley was trying to play all shy. Um, yeah, so it was really weird because I'm. Um, I never thought much of it. I never thought it was going to be a single. I just thought it was going to be more like an album track. And and it was great. It's, I think Ashley is definitely a great person to work with. There's so many great UK artists in, you know, in the UK scene at the moment, like Chipmunk. I think Dappy is amazing. Um, Tishy Strider. Um, I think we're progressing so much that we were talking, me and Ashley were talking about it the other day, we were saying that it's nice to see the Americans now coming over here to work with mm. us instead of us trying to work with them. I wish to God that I could hear you and Keisha sing together again. Because ah. it still sounds, individually you sound brilliant yeah. as well, I'm not saying that you need to be with her to, to do what you're doing, but I don't know, I missed it as a, as a fan I suppose, like yeah. hearing your voices together. Do you miss uh -huh. the Sugar Babes at all? Is there any part of you? Um, I do miss the fact, you know, of, you know, doing the whole travelling around and having, you know, enjoying the experiences that we had together. But, um, you know, we've all grown up now and, you know, I've moved on, they've moved on. Um, and I, I don't even think about it, to tell you the truth. You know, at the end of the day, I love my life and I love what I'm doing right now. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. So, no, I don't really miss anything because, you know, everyone's moved on and yeah. time's gone past and that's how it is. You don't see them anymore? No, I haven't seen them for a couple of years, but... You know, that's not because I chose not to, that's because I've been doing my own thing as well as they've been doing their own thing. You've been watching RewindMag.com, we were joined today by Mucha. Say thanks very much to Mucha and check back for more later. <laughs>